Hi guys, um, just making a set of skills today and uh, finally managed to to do what I wanted to do and glued them together, let them sit there and looked at a piece of steel, steel looked back at me and uh, several hours later I've um, designed and made these. Um, they were designed and made specifically to fit the sheaths, these are brand new uh, frog sheaths. Um, Frog bayonet sheaths. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's some uh, trippy clouds going on as well at the minute. You're not going to be able to see through here. It's really quite pleasant sat here, sat in the middle of a field. Don't think you can see them. Hmm, there's a couple of dubious ones over there, but uh, they're very strange, very wispy. But, um, anyway. Enough of the clouds, I'm sure you're bored of clouds. I think you should be. Right, so what we have here Yeah. Um decided I wanted to make a bushcraft knife, but a big one. And I wanted to try a new jig and just, I don't know, I just guess I saw something and made it. Uh, they're both identical with the exception of, you know, handmade marks. They are approximately quite long. Um, with a total length of pretty big cutting edge of about that it's about nine inch <laughs> I think they're about 15 inch long fit nice there can be chalked up on there can be hung back on here uh, five mile thick or one edge quenched uh, bone breaker on the spine uh, I didn't put a swedge because I figured this sort of knife's likely to be battened with uh, so you've got this front section here that will allow you to batten with uh, they are sharp <laughs> running out hair on my arm uh, the scales this is the same with them both it's uh, 5mm titanium pins, uh, 3 8 thick, uh, it's a um, camo G10 tiger stripe, I was going to profile it in this plane but to be honest it fills the hand really nice. Both engraved. Jumping on the back, and I've named it the Bush Mod <laughs> just because I can. Uh, yeah, I've not heat treated the pommel on these because, with it being a big, heavy chopper or heavyish chopper, medium weight, I guess, um, I wanted to make sure that this remained soft for flexibility. Um, midges. So that's that one. Second one. They're as close as damn it identical. With obviously the exception of the random pattern. I've put my um, frag pattern. <laughs> Only reason I've given it its a name, so I can remember what it is myself, but. Bone breaker. They're pretty damn cool. They are going to go on Gear Bastion. And I will be making one for myself. That is foot sure. So, quick flyby.
and these are handmade. These aren't laser cut. These are handmade. And there you go. The Bushmark number one and two. I will be making more of these. I will be putting it into CAD. I will be making a couple of tweaks. <laughs> but uh, I want to keep them. 